Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's having a, a happy Monday. Uh, enjoying your time off if you had time off today, whatever the case may be. Uh, also, hope you enjoyed your weekend. So today's topic of the day is why they hate, because I won't say we, because I don't, why they hate LeBron James. Um, and it's a simple thing. It's a simple answer for the most part. You hate greatness is what it is. People hate when people are great. So therefore, they have to find something wrong or attempt to find something wrong with them in order to hate greatness. Now, some of the reasons in the past why I've heard that people hate LeBron James or don't like LeBron James, they say he whines. They said that the, the, the decision, and if you're not familiar with the decision, the decision was uh, when, LeBron, when LeBron James chose uh, to go to Miami and leave Cleveland. And now let me just talk about that for a couple of minutes. So you ask why he did that. People say, well, he did that because he's arrogant. He held them hostage, whatever the case may be, uh, free agency and so forth and so on. Let me tell you why LeBron James did that. If you go back to LeBron James' career, LeBron James came right out of high school, right? And so I did a video before about the National Letter of Intent Day. And during that time, what happens is on National Letter of Intent Day, high school players get to do this little ritual where if they're a top, you know, top 10 recruit, whatever the case may be, um, on, they get to actually do it on national TV uh, where they'll set like three or four hats in front of them and they'll thank everybody for coming, kind of like thank all the, the schools that they visit. And then what they'll do is they'll then select a hat and say, you know, I'll be taking my talents to Florida State or Florida or Syracuse, Boston, whatever the case may be, whatever school they should choose. Now, if you think about it, LeBron never had that opportunity because he was drafted by the Cleveland Cavs. Cavaliers and he never had an opportunity to choose where he wanted to go or therefore or have that kind of that big production and so you fast forward to his the, the end of his contract with Cleveland um, and he made a production like he would have had he had the opportunity in college or high school because he never had an opportunity to do that and so I don't fault him for doing that um, for creating that opportunity for, for himself uh, to do something that he missed out on um, in his high school years um, so if you want to hate him hate him and not to mention he gave all the proceeds from that whole uh presentation he gave to charity so again you know plus for lebron james for being a good guy um again like i said people love to hate greatness uh people say well he he should have never left cleveland and, and went to a super team he needed a super team in order to win a championship who doesn't need a super team to win a championship basketball is not a one-man game and not one man can ever win a championship on his own if you ever look at a, any NBA titles or any championship teams um, they all had key players on their teams that played a role that got them the championship team uh, championship rings uh, and so which is why you kind of see what you're seeing now you see a lot of guys kind of banding together to get those championships um, but again people say well he should have never left Cleveland all the things that Cleveland did for him if you look back at his career at Cleveland, his time at Cleveland before he came back, they gave him nothing. The only player they ever gave LeBron James was an old Shaquille O'Neal who was at the end of his career and barely even played during the time he was there. He was injured half the time. So again, like I said, the years that he owed Cleveland nothing. He gave Cleveland all he had. In fact, the amount of revenue he created while he was in Cleveland, it's... It, 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 you know, they would have never created that much, put that many butts in the seat had he not been there. So to say that he owed Cleveland anything is ridiculous. And and to call, to say that, well, he only did it because he had Chris Bosh and, and uh, um, um, Dwayne Wade. Well, maybe so. But at the end of the day, all those guys were at the end of their careers. And LeBron was in his prime. So he picked up a couple of guys in the end of their career, unlike Kevin Durant, who I don't mind him doing what he did. But at the end of their careers, they didn't go get with a bunch of young young cats who were, who were just coming to, into the prime of their career to go win a championship. You got a bunch of older guys um, that when they were younger, they actually um, had like this pack that one day they would actually come back together and play together. And I think Carmelo Anthony was a part of that too, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that was the case. So again, like I said, you can hate the man. There's not a whole lot of reasons why you can hate this man. The man is a saint off the, off the court. You never hear about him doing anything. He's he's a father. He's a husband. Um, he sent countless, you know, donated countless amounts of money to kids to be able to go to college. He's done all kinds of things off the court in order for you not to hate him. And you, you really have no reason to hate him on the court because the man is a straight beast. And I know a problem is is why people hate him is because us older people are holding on to Michael Jordan because he is our he is our our 
our standard of what greatness of basketball should be. And we keep comparing the two of them together. But the fact of the matter is, Michael Jordan was the greatest player in his time of his time. There's no question about it. And LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of his time. There is no question about it. He is he is a freak of nature. He is a he can play positions one through five or whatever you know, he, he can do it all. He can shoot, he can drive, he can do he can do it all. So the fact there is no reason for anybody to hate this man. You can say I mean if you say he's arrogant, I mean how is he arrogant? You can say he whines. If you've ever watched a basketball game um, on any level, whether that be uh, elementary school, whether that be at the high school level, whether that be at the college level, whether that be at the NBA level, whether that be at a men's league that you play it on the on the weekends, everybody whines, everybody cries about fouls, period. So if you're saying that LeBron's he always whining to get calls, that's just what basketball players do on a regular, and everybody in the league does it. And if you can show me a scenario where a basketball player has not cried or whined about a foul, then, you know, you know, I'll give you what I got in my pocket, which is not a lot, but I'll give you what I got in my pocket. So at the end of the day, we love to hate greatness. There's no reason to hate LeBron James other than the fact that he's good at what he does, and we love to hate greatness. And then when the next guy who comes along, who is the next, for argument's sake, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or whatever the case may be, we're going to hate on him, period. Because just that's what we do. Or what y'all do, not me. Because I don't hate LeBron James. I view LeBron James as one of the greatest basketball players that ever played the game, hands down. There's no there's no there's no there's no debating it to, to say the least. The man's gonna at the end of his career, and I say he's got about six more years left on it, at the end of his clear career, he's probably gonna hold every record there is to hold in terms of scoring and, and all and all these other things. And he may even get himself another ring depending on where it goes. So um, so that is what it is. And you can hate LeBron James, but at the end of the day, like I said, he's one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. So I love to have, have your opinions. Give me your opinions. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, all the above. And uh, again, you know, do something nice for somebody today uh, to make their day. In fact, do something nice for yourself as well to make your day. It's all about self-care.